the Dust Bowl is the greatest man-made man-made ecological disaster in the history of the United States and perhaps the war. It is a 10-year apocalypse superimposed over the worst economic cataclysm in our nation's history, the Great Depression, that was not just a handful of storms, but hundreds of storms, some of which picked up and moved more dirt in one day than it took the 10 years of excavating the Panama Canal to move, that the dust would pick up and move all the way so that President Roosevelt could, you know, rub his finger across his desk in the Oval Office and come up with Oklahoma on his fingertips. We created a world-class environmental disaster in a matter of 40 or 50 years. We didn't plan this. We didn't set out and say, let's ruin the second greatest ecosystem in North America. It was a result of a whole bunch of things that are just innate to human beings. The thing about tragedies and great natural disasters is suddenly what happens to other people starts happening to us. Well, first of all, it's awfully ironic that this storm where people are dying from too much water as opposed to the dust a bowl where people were dying of too little water, it was called Sandy. I mean, we have a 108-year-old subway system in New York City, and it was flooded for the first time extensively throughout. Um, this will happen again. We know the science. The science is 99% sure that climate change is happening. Um, unfortunately, because of political rhetoric, it turns out that up until recently, almost half the population didn't believe that climate change existed, that it was the invention of some left-wing media or some liberal academy. I think what's been, if you could call it the horrible positive side of, of Sandy, if there could be, the silver lining, is that apparently these numbers are rapidly changing, that people have come to understand that you can't have two um, hundred-year uh, storms in two years. Uh, you've got to suddenly wake up and say, my goodness, what can we do together? And a lot of it uh, goes back and harkens to the lessons of the Dust Bowl about planning for the long term. And no one exaggerates that. There is no way for it to be exaggerated. It was that bad. The two years of drought that we've experienced in the middle of the country has been devastating and crops have been devastated and they ought to be a reminder of what went on before. So knowing the full extent of the Dust Bowl perhaps prepares you for taking some of the solutions necessary to mitigate it. We want our children to live in America that isn't burdened by debt, that isn't threatened by the destructive power of a warming planet. I think we have to be optimistic about the next four years. Uh, I think people uh, have spoken and they're clearly in favor of hearing what the truth is. I guess I can't describe it. It was just, it was just constant, just that steady blow of dirt. One hopes that there is a momentum for change. One hopes that other things can take place. But as we know from our political process and as my distant ancestor Robert Burns said, the best laid plans of mice and men gang after glay, which I think is Gaelic for screw up a lot. Back in 1927, I had a little farm and I called that heaven.